Welcome back to Bruin Banter. It's our very last episode of the season, and I thought it was fitting to have Miss Val back on the show just to recap the season so you guys could hear both a coach and an athlete's perspective. Well, I felt, as I think you did as well, and the whole team did actually, that this was a remarkable season. Mm -hmm. We started off uh, training very well, and we got into competitions, and we had some bumps in the road. Mm -hmm. But the most impressive thing about this year was that the, your teammates, you and your teammates, didn't just put in the work. You put in the intention behind the work. Mm -hmm. And the intention was to get better every single day. And it was really, really fun because halfway through the year, we just got better and better and better and every meet the score showed that mm -hmm. and we were right on track to go in and be able to contend for a national championship mm -hmm. unfortunately that that the first day the prelims of the NCAAs um, we had a half of a of a bad event you know we started on floor and as you all know I'm, what am I telling you I'll tell you we started on floor <laughs> and we started on floor, uh, we started on floor. <laughs> and uh, had two out of bounds. And um, it wasn't you know, that they under-rotated, that they weren't prepared. It was simply the excitement, the enthusiasm, and, and the podium, of being on the podium for the first mm -hmm. time. Um, and Yeah, people were asking me, you know, what happened? Was everyone really nervous? Was everyone really you know, playing it safe? And, and honestly, it was, it's crazy to me because thinking back to the locker room, everyone was in a great mood. We were, we were vibing. We were ready. No one seemed overly anxious, overly nervous. We had great practice days, great warm-ups. And so, you know, it's unfortunate that those mistakes had to happen. But what can you do? Right. It was, it was very unfortunate. And um, our... Uh, athletic director pointed out to me that he said, you know, you're one of those sports where when you dig a hole, you can't rally the last three minutes and dig yourself out of it. Mm -hmm. And I had never thought of it that way. You know, in, in, in football, you can score three touchdowns in the last minute and a half. Well, you can't sub out. You can't pass the ball. You can't pass the ball. You can't sub out. And you, all you can do is do your best and then wait to see if someone makes a mistake. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to say it wasn't our night. It was just the first part of the very first rotation mm -hmm. that um, got us into a hole that that prevented us from competing in the Super Six. And I was very, very sad because uh, I felt that this team deserved to compete for a national championship. Mm -hmm. um, and I do have to say, and I'm not just saying this because you're here, you really, you saved the weekend for us. You, you absolutely shined. You were, it felt like you were the bell of the ball. Oh, um, thanks, Ms. Val. And uh, you, you did everything right your senior year. I mean, you've done everything right before, but the thing that... <laughs> You're only your senior only year. Only your senior... Not even your senior year. Your fifth year, you did everything right. Good. But what you did right was you got away from focusing so much on having to win, and you, you really embraced the process and your teammates and the journey and the mm -hmm. adventures that we went through, and that enabled you to go out on your last night of, of all-around competition and just let it all out and allow it that allowed you to be your best because you weren't playing tight mm -hmm. it was such a great example for the rest of the team thank you now i feel like we're filming a, an individual meeting okay so we're not filming an individual meeting even though this is where the individual meetings happen mm -hmm. and you're not crying which no. um you're not usually the crier and no. denusha cries oh wow but she cries it like if you step on an ant denusha cries right. So with which, that, which brings us to the next segment of the show, we have a very special presentation. We do. Yes, I would like you to kindly switch places. You want me to leave? I mean, you want me to leave? Okay, can I just say one more thing? Yeah. Bruin fa fans, Bruin Nation, thanks for all your support. It was a great year. This was a team to be really proud of, and can't wait for next season. Oh, I love you. Al. I love you too. Alrighty. We'll have our love fest continue later on. But okay. right now, okay. the next special guest comes on. And now, our last and final guest of the season is Danusha Francis. Hey, Sam. She is the Bonnie to my Clyde, the blonde to my blonde, <laughs> and so much more. But the real reason that she is here right now is because, well, we all know I'm a fifth year, and all good things must come to an end, but 
I would love to pass the torch of being the Bruin Banter host to someone like Danusha Francis. Thank you, Sam. You're this welcome. This is an honor, and to be getting it from you, like Miss Val said, I cry quite a lot, and I've cried about Sam leaving probably about six times. So, to You're be gonna sitting make me here, cry. <laughs> to be sitting here in this office where I've cried so many times, and to be getting passed the torch, this is a special moment. Do you see it? This is the torch. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Well, I first want to tell you guys why I chose to sit in Miss Val's office to pass the torch. Anyone that has been a UCLA gymnast or knows anything about the program knows that her office is where everything begins and ends. And so being here on my recruiting trip, and, and Danusha remembers the same thing on her recruiting trip, being recruited in Miss Val's office and now you know, doing the final brew and banter in Miss Val's office, I just think there's something special about that. Yeah, there definitely is. I remember Sam bringing me into this very room on my recruit trip. Aww. And here we are. It's so crazy. <laughs> and I was saying when I came in, we always face this way because Miss Val's chair's over there. So I never <laughs> face this way. And I have only really looked at yeah. this picture once or twice in my life, really. And <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Freshman if, year. If you can't see it, it's Danusha's noteworthy beam skill that that, that one no time. one in the entire NCAA <laughs> does. So it's really awesome that there's a picture of you and you're sitting right here. Right, I'm honored. There's quite a few you're pictures the of me version. right there. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, wow. I'm glad I sit this way. because Maybe one day I'll, I'll make Miss Bell's office. <laughs> Ms. Bell? I'm sure you're in here somewhere. <laughs> Hidden in the back. I'll print. That's probably you. Look at that. Yeah, I'll print her <laughs> off some pictures. Don't worry. <laughs> Next year on Bruin Banter, right. I hope to be a special guest. I would love to come back. It would be an honor. And maybe then we could show you my picture that will <laughs> then be in Miss Val's office. But for right now, I think I should get in some practice and ask you a few oh, questions. Okay. So, Sam, yes. like Miss Val said, you really topped off the weekend for us. A weekend that we all expected to be better, but you, in the end, you made it special for all of us. And so just tell us a few words about how that made you feel. Oh. Well, you know, like I said before, if I could give up the individual national championship for the team, I would in a heartbeat. And I wish that there was some sort of trade-in that we could do for that. And but But individually, just for myself ending the sport on such a positive note and and win or lose you know knowing that I went out there and did all my routines to the best of my ability that I've been training all season and finally putting it all together when it counts um, is the cherry on top and then to come on event finals and you know beam is both of our favorite events and just to compete on finals day and to be able to throw my full yes. and nail it is is really it was really awesome and, and such a great note to leave the sport on. Yeah, that standing full. I mean, you did do that one to Arabesque <laughs> earlier on in the season, but uh -huh. that one was uh -huh. something special. That was great. <laughs> and how about the coaches? We've got Randy, Chris, yeah. Dom, and Miss Val, a.k.a. VKF. VKF. What are you going to miss most about them? <sighs> I think that the coaches will always be my life coaches, even though they are no longer coaching me in the yeah. gym. Um, but I just feel so special to have built such a bond with, with our coaches. And um, I know it's not the same everywhere. And I know we are very unique and very lucky to have such great role models and mentors. And uh, you'll be in good hands next year, even though I'm not going to be on the team. Oh. <laughs> and how about some last minute advice for me going into my senior year? And as the new Bruin Banter host, oh, what can gosh. you tell me? The secrets. Just so proud of this girl. She texted me last summer, and she cardios now, <laughs> and she works out. It's just, I, mean. I don't even know. I've created a monster. <laughs> I learned it all from you. But, <laughs> but I think some good advice going into your senior year would be just to enjoy it. Enjoy every good and bad and ugly issue and situation in the gym and out of the gym because it's not going to last forever and at the end of the day you just want to have no regrets and I think that it's going to be your best year yet. Thank you. You're welcome. So guys thank you so much for watching Bruin Banter and make sure you come back and check out our season next year. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> dude. oh my gosh. This is so my last Bruin Banter ever. Wow, crazy.